in case you didn't see, this is ukulele page 11. On page 10, I went through how a C chord is constructed based on the C scale. And you take the first note, third note, and fifth note, and those make up a triad. And then on the ukulele, you revoice things. So you know you want those three notes, C, E, G, and so you use the ones you have. Low C, C, or I'm sorry, low G, C, E, and high C. Now I said on ukulele you do that. You also do that on other instruments. We are now on page 11, and... Um, we're going to construct a G, a G chord and then a G7 chord and you do it the same way. Now here's, here is a G scale in the key of C. So we're going to start on G and we're going to go up to the next G. You might have noticed that seventh note didn't sound quite right. Uh, if we were playing a G scale, it would have been that's F sharp, which we haven't had yet. But we're going to stay with good old F, okay? And we're going to construct this scale exactly the same way. We're going to take the first note, G, the third note, B, which we haven't had yet, uh, D, the fifth note, so that makes a G scale, G, B, D. Here's uh, in our regular G chord, we play G, D, G, B. Now that isn't on this page, but that's a G chord. To make the seven chord, G7, you throw in the seventh note of that G scale in the key of C. So this note, this note, this note, and so we revoice that as it shows in the second line of the music. Let's see, can I show you that? Uh, right there, right there where my finger is pointing. And, sorry, the Page bent on me. Uh, and we revoice that, so now we, we're going to use G, B, D, F, but we use G, we voice it G, D, F, B. And we have a G7 chord. So in the third line of the music, we have C, G7. C, G7, and you know I'm not even going to go through the rest of the, the music on this page, except to point out that underneath that line that I just played, it says start slow, or maybe carefully is a better word. And a thing I've always done as I practice is or at least I came to do this when I understood how important practice was, was to practice as slow as you need to, as fast as you can. So if you have to work up speed on something, you don't start out trying to play it really fast, unless you're really good. Uh, you start out playing it slow, as slow as you can, as slow as you need to. Um, and try not to make any mistakes. Try to go real slow on it. Um, so, for instance, in the bottom line, bottom line of this, we have C three times, G7 three times, and that just goes over and over. So, if you're trying to work up, you know, what, like, but maybe you can't play it that fast. Actually, you can probably play it faster, but you, you, you do it slowly first. Switch. Let's see what else it says on this page. Um, slow and right is always better than fast and wrong. 
and I see that I ran the words right and is together, speed will come. Well, it's kind of all on this page, so practice carefully. Um, speed it up as much as you can, as much as you need to, and um, that's how you get better.